If you ever thought creatine was just for really jacked dudes that want to wear those t-shirts that just show a little bit of nip, you're wrong. Creatine is for everyone and it may be perfect for you. I'm Julie Bauer Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind PaleoMG. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to share my favorite food, workout, and wellness tips to help you live your best damn life. And my best damn life includes something called creatine. Have you tried it? Do you know much about it? Before I really knew much about creatine, all I knew was a bunch of guys in high school used to take it and they all looked really swollen really puffy. It wasn't like a super cute look and they definitely look, didn't look jacked. So I thought creatine was for dudes. And I also thought of it as something in the steroid category. It was a hormonal drug to take. Okay. It's not like that. It's not like that. I'm going to tell you all the things about creatine and tell you why I have absolutely loved putting it into my daily routine. Now, a little bit of history about creatine. Creatine is one of the most studied sports supplements of all time. It's been studied for over 200 years, and there are some studies as long as five years showing no adverse effects in healthy people. Not only is it one of the most studied, but it's also one of the cheapest supplements out there and it actually works. Now, creatine is naturally found in the body. It's an amino acid, so it can also be found in fattier types of food, such as red meat or fish, but it's naturally already in our body. It's not a hormone, it's an amino acid. So taking additional creatine can help with ATP energy. Now this ATP energy is going to help improve high intensity exercise. So if you're trying to put on mass, and when I say mass, I mean just muscle. Say we're just trying to tone up or create more muscle, same difference. Creatine is going to help with that because you're going to be able to put more energy into your workouts, whether you're doing a longer run, whether you're lifting heavier, it is going to help with that energy production in the muscle. Now, creatine also helps with all kinds of different biological processes in the body that are going to help with muscle size and muscle growth. But get this, creatine isn't just for muscle growth. It's not for muscle size. It has been shown to help with all kinds of different things like regulating your blood sugar. It's shown to help with neurological disorders, reduced depression, and this one is super cool. Since it's helping with neurological disorders, it may help with brain function, and this may help with memory recall for older adults. So not only is this maybe a young person who's just trying to build some muscle, but this is for everyone, for men, for women, for older people, everybody. And creatine may even help with weight loss. So oftentimes it's not thought of as weight loss, but when you are in a caloric deficit, when you're trying to lose weight, you have less energy because you're eating less food. And so you're getting less creatine often because you're not eating those fattier types of food. But creatine is going to help increase that energy. You're gonna have more energy for your workouts and you're going to burn more and lose more weight. Wow. Now taking creatine is incredibly easy. You'll want creatine monohydrate and you'll want about three to five grams per day. And honestly, you'll probably see results pretty quickly, not within a week or so, but when taken in a few months, you will start to see results in the gym and with your physique. And even though I can't promise this because everybody's body is a little bit different, within a few months, you should be seeing results from your creatine intake. And if you're wondering when to take it, creatine can be taken any time of the day. There's some evidence that shows that taking creatine after a workout instead of before is going to result in more results. But other evidence shows that it can be taken throughout any time of the day to continue to get results from it. You want to make sure you're not taking it on an empty stomach because oftentimes people feel an upset stomach when they do that. Take it with a little bit of food and you'll be good to go. And if you're wondering what you should take, pills or powder, it's really up to you. Do you like taking pills? Are pills easier for you to take? Do you like putting a powder in something else and so you don't have to take pills? It's up to you either way, three to five grams is gonna get you there. Now with my own experience with creatine, I started taking it before I got pregnant. So this was about a year and a half ago. I was really hesitant because I was like, well, I'm not looking to get like puffy or huge. And one of my girlfriends, Michaela from Hungry Fitness, reassured me that's not going to be the case. You're just gonna get some great results with building muscle and seeing results in the gym. So I started taking five grams every single day and within a month I was seeing incredible results. 
all my lifts were going up. I was actually in a bit of a caloric deficit because I was leaning out a bit and all my weights were going up in the gym even though I was in that caloric deficit. I was doing 45 pound pull-ups. I was doing 375 pounds glute bridge, 300 pound hip thrust, and all those numbers are really high for me. Maybe they aren't for you, but those were intense numbers for me that I had never hit before until I started taking creatine and I had been lifting for years. Now I started with a powder and that's what I've stuck with. I like taking it post-workout in my post-workout shake. So I just have my powder, a little scoop of five grams I add it to my protein drink blend it up drink it down it doesn't taste like anything you can get flavored creatine if you want but I just like it in a shake unflavored and it's good to go then I get to have my like peanut buttery shake that I just love so much now that I'm no longer pregnant and I'm working out hard again and I'm looking for results I am back on creatine and I'm feeling so good I've only been working out for about six weeks now and I'm feeling better every single day that comes with postpartum recovery. But I think creatine plays a huge part in that and it's going to play a huge part in my recovery, getting back to heavier weights. I'm not huge into supplements. I take my vitamins and minerals that are specific to me based on the blood work that I've done. And then I drink my protein powder because I want to get extra protein in every day. And then I do creatine. Those are the only things that I really like to take. And I swear by creatine. It is incredible the results you get in such a short amount of time and you're going to feel great on it. And not only that, but there is so much research behind creatine. You can find so many different studies out there and so much information to help find out if it's the best thing for you. But why I wanted to share this most importantly is to get women thinking about it. It's not gonna make you big, fluffy, puffy, <laughs> Michelin manny not going to get like that. It is going to help you get results in the gym, get stronger, see more results on the outside. It is awesome. So don't be scared by it. Try it out. You're going to love it. And the best part, I talked about how cheap it is. This has a hundred servings in it. It's $30. That means it's 30 cents per serving, 30 cents. Pretty freaking cool. Now to conclude main important things, three to five grams a day. You want creatine monohydrate. You wanna make sure you take it every day to get those results. That's it. That's how simple it is. A little five gram scoop. So simple. Hopefully this information was helpful and gets you feeling less scared about creatine if you didn't know anything about it. But I wanna hear from you. Have you tried creatine? Did you see results in the gym because of it? Did you see physique changes? I know I sure did, and I'm very excited to see those changes again as I get back into working out. But share your experience in the comment section below and we'll chat there. And don't forget to like and subscribe and so you can see more of this as it comes up. And I have a few more videos that I think you're gonna like. So stay tuned for those.